Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Richard and today I want to tell you about AI. Specifically, I want to tell you about the three categories of AI that are predicted to exist. The first level is weak AI, also known as artificial and narrow intelligence. This is an AI that is good at a sp one specific thing or a very narrow selection of things. Examples of this include Siri, AlphaGo, self-driving cars, this is the level that we're currently at with artificial intelligence development. The next level is strong AI, also known as artificial general intelligence. This is the level that people usually think of when they hear AI, and it's an artificial intelligence that is as smart as a human, or smarter than an average human. Examples include data from Star Trek Next Generation, C-3PO and R2D from Star Wars, Jarvis from the MCU, and Terminators from the Terminator films. At this level, we're talking about an AI that is as smart as a human and is doing its own thing in the digital realm. The next level above this, and that kind of the top level, is artificial superintelligence. At this level, you're talking about an AI that is smarter than the smartest humans, smarter than humanity as a whole, and smarter. Examples include The Machine from Person of Interest and Skynet from the Terminator films. At this level, you're talking about an AI that exceeds the intellectual capacity of the brightest humans, humanity as a whole, and beyond. At this level it goes from human relatable to a more alien intelligence, and there is a risk of it completely outpacing us in terms of what it can do. Currently we are at the lowest level of AI, weak, narrow, where it's only good at doing one thing, and the prediction from when we will hit the next level, the human level intelligence, kind of varies depending on who you ask. Though, it is worth thinking about how we will be at human level AIs now instead of later, because that way it gives us time to actually deal with things. Once we hit the human level AI, there are things to take into consideration like AI rights, how do we deal with AI citizens and purely digital based beings, but it's, at the moment it's kind of interesting to actually just think about. That's what I want to ask you at home. What do you think about AI development? AI development. Should we start planning for the future now, or should we leave it till later when you have a better idea of how things are unfolding? Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and I look forward to hearing what you think. And if you want to see more from me in the future, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.